For whom the bell tolls. Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. Always clear the browser history. It's a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? Well, he's pumping he something, all right. Form of meditation. Was Cookie Tom? To dude. Barbells are the best say no places. more. Say less, dude. Cookie Tom's important. And never give you gonk advice. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. Those are some they pretty sick pinups, like... That's definitely why they're up there. Cyber yeah. girl tattoo pinups? All right. It's a fine piece of metal and mechanics. He was so psyched. It's a sick looking fucking bike. Locked. I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere. Yep, right. You mean right out in the Found open. It. Tucked away somewhere out in the open. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Isn't it just a little, uh, janky? It's hideous, but it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Man. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was? Miss Fish, a dwarf shark. Mini. Sounds like a mighty Damn it, you fish. know what I just realized? Oh, I don't think he bought it. At the fucking uh, Arasaka Tower, there was an egg you could grab so you could have like an iguana in your apartment. Damn. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back, kicked his butt, told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. None, I see. I couldn't get them all with only having that much buffer space. Messages, gorgeous rod, looking for a new owner. Don't forget about our deal. So I gotta pick something. Oh, I haven't 
Loved to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. There's still something I haven't searched. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many. Nice things. still. What have I not scanned yet? Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. Tequila. Yes, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Hey, V. Sorry I told you you were dying a couple days ago, but... I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? 
I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up and beat the shit out of us both. <laughs> it's half my fault, half his. And we hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, well, we're eating dinner at Mama Wells. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. I never know what to say for these dialogue he options. who he was. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And, and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, B. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offrenda we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. That's right, V. Fight her Stand up for dinner. Him. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Got a motorcycle! You got a problem here, big guy? Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be it's, as torn uh, up sucks after to meet like this. Huh? We'll talk to everybody just cuz. Farewells aren't that Not bad today. once you get used to them. Have you gotten used to them? When you get to my age, friends don't come and go. They just mostly go. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Pour you another? Did you just tell For Jackito? I see the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. They's what kept them going. Poor. For Jackie. Amen, brother. Also, you can just get fucking hammered if you want. Sweet. All right. Hey, you. Have a drink with us. Hmm? To Wells. Um. Yeah, All sure. Right. Why not? To Wells. Dude's throwing him back. Rest in peace. We're gonna go drive a we're gonna go drive a motorcycle nice. after this. <laughs> See? You gotta know when to stop. 
Right, give me a break. 90 miles an hour, 112 miles an hour. Let's go. We work together only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you. See, no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe. Please remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it. Fresh wheels, bikes, I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Okay. Let's see. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about preem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. You don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. Neanderthal looking dude. I want dog food now? Same, dude. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. What's about Andrew? He, uh... I told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. This guy's having a rough time. Look at that. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy jeans. According to him. Well, you told him about Andrew. Pussy jeans? What Honestly, brand is that? Thought about it a lot. Sorry, bad joke. Anyway, uh -huh. they don't know everything. Mm. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Doesn't matter. Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. <laughs> 